When we came back in 1978 in August, Cumberland was still quite a large congregation. A lot of the youth that were youth in 62 had in the meantime married and they had children, so there was a good group of children. It was a fairly large church for German people and it was lively. Uh, we played basketball out in the back uh, parking lot. Uh, we did outreach uh, up and down the streets, handing out invitations. We went from house to house to house. And then when that Jesus movie came out, we would go with that. We got together with some of the other smaller churches. We were able to, uh, to grow. And uh, actually, we were, you had to be in church every Sunday, every Wednesday, every Friday. Otherwise, you, you were in trouble. <laughs> I've been involved in Pentecostal Church for 80 some years. I was a teacher, I was a uh, missionary. Whatever I could do in the church, I would volunteer to do. So I've always been involved here in the church with, uh, with the sort of the maintenance, the repairs, the cross back there, you know, we built the pulpit, we made. Oh yeah, and my dad made those stands there. And so that, that kind of work that uh, we did around the church. There's a lot here from what we did with our hands. For some time I was, uh, uh, singing uh, in the choir. I, I was a board member for many, many, many years. I've been involved in a couple different things, um, part of the worship team and um, also part of the camp ministry um, as camp nurse. Um, I have been and I love being a Sunday school teacher. All my Bible verses that I know today are because we were really had to learn Bible verses. I was a, a treasurer, I was an usher. Uh, there was always something uh, to do and we, we did it gladly. Oh, my most memorable event was probably my baptism and that was April 2005. Justin getting married in the church here, um, my dad's funeral, um, the dedications for my grandchildren, it was uh, in this church that, that our three children were, during that time, were born. They got saved here, they got baptized, and uh, Pastor Gwinner even buried every one of them. The, the most poignant one, of course, is when my wife passed away, and I did miss her at the uh, organ, because she would play the organ at funerals and so on. Having my kids baptized in the church here, being just, just being part of the um, services each week. Uh, I think it's just a wonderful experience in this church. So we have excellent memories. The uh, preaching was, was always solid. We have, we have no, no, no excuse at all. Uh, this, is, this is our home church. <laughs>